Chef Paul Lilikus is here in the kitchen. Oh, we're excited because it smells good. Yeah. Paul, you recently went to PEI where you had an opportunity to experience how oysters are taken from farm to table at the Raspberry Point o Oyster Farm. So let's take a look at that. Feast your eyes. <laughs> Wait, is this right? Hey guys, I'm here in beautiful Cavendish PEI. This island isn't just known for its red sands and Anne of Green Gables, it's also Canada's food island. And I'm here with James at beautiful Raspberry Point. I'm dressed for the occasion, you can tell. And he's gonna show us how these world famous oysters make it from farm to table. All right. So here we go. Wow. Cheers, Cheers. thank Cheers. you. It takes three or four years to get a nice oyster, so you got to put a lot of work into it to get that final great product. When these are ready, what's the what's the finishing step? So we'll take these out. They'll get cleaned, graded for size and shape, and then straight to the box and the door up to Ontario, Quebec. I mean, all kinds of places. Nice. All right, now we're headed to the Sea Rocket to see these beautiful oysters on an oyster bar at a restaurant. Let's go. All right, now that we know all the hard work that goes into farming those oysters and grating them and cleaning them, here we see them beautifully presented. And if you want to know more, even more information on where the oysters come from or why they taste the way they do, you can go to the socialshell.com where they have this beautiful interactive map. You can check out all these different photos, different facts. Look, that's exactly where we were today and learn more about where your food comes from. So now, let's grab some of these oysters, get back to studio and get down to some cooking. I love that. Bring all of that good stuff right back here. I want to know, what were your main uh, takeaways from this experience? Well, first of all, what a treat. Like, yeah. what a treat to get to go to a place where this beloved ingredient is grown and get in there and actually taste it from the water. And one of the biggest takeaways was learning about miroir. So we all know about terroir when we think about yes. wine and how the, the ground and all the minerals in there affect the flavor of the wine. Mm -hmm. Same thing happens with shellfish and with oysters. So whatever minerals and the salinity of the water at whatever port they're being grown at, how that affects the finished product. And tasting one from that water, yeah. it was so much saltier than I expected. And because it was at about 22 degrees Celsius, it was warmer than I've ever had an oyster before. So I could yeah. really taste the flavor of that oyster. It was, it was really amazing. And then you get the sense of maybe how we're really supposed to be eating them, which is fresh out of the water, oh, right? Yeah. That's when everything is the best. So very interesting experience. And it was great. Chef Paul has said he wants to do all the traveling for all the food. So yes, we, will make, yeah. we will make note. Check. Manifesting it. <laughs> what are we making today? So today we're going to make a crispy fried oyster on the half shell. So yes. this is like an elegant but simple enough appetizer that you can do at home and yeah. great for first timers. Have you always been into oysters? I'm going to ask you that before we start. No, no actually, to be honest, not always. I, yeah. I, I used to say the same thing. Oh, I don't know the textures for me. Yeah. And it was having it fried for the first time that really made me think, wow, this is delicious. And I have a whole new appreciation for them now. Beautiful. Okay, let's start making them. Okay, so I've already shucked some of these beautiful raspberry point oysters and Lovely. I made a dredge. This is cornstarch and all purpose flour and black pepper and salt. That's it. So I'm going to throw a few of those in there and we're just going to give them a nice light coating mm -hmm. and then we're going to fry them so I'm using a neutral oil I'm using canola oil today anything with a high smoke point neutral flavor and I want it hot because I don't want to cook these to death yeah. I just want to give them nice crispy crust so you want that sizzle right when they go in there yeah and that's it maybe one to two minutes not until they're like fried chicken brown, but right. just a nice <laughs> light golden. Right, because what we're looking for is to keep as much of the natural flavor as possible. Yeah, you, you don't want it to be all crust. You don't want it to be all crust, although I'm not against that. Listen, you know me, <laughs> anything bread or bread D I'm into, but yes, me you do too. want to taste some oyster in there as right. well. Right, and these are small, they're delicate, so you yeah. don't want, you, you know, you still want to honor the oyster, this beautiful ingredient. Yeah. So while I'm frying these, why don't you work on the sauce? Yeah. Simple sauce, so just a little bit of mayo yep. and some pickle variety. So that's a kind of a dual purpose ingredient. That's got some dill in it, some vinegar, some garlic, mm -hmm. and then a little bit of Dijon. Nice. And this is just going to add brightness and complement the saltiness of the oyster. 
And once that's stirred totally together, yep. I've washed some of these shells already. Nice. And then you could just serve these on the half shell. So a little dollop, maybe a teaspoon. Okay. In the bottom of each one. You don't want to go too too heavy with this because is that it too is too much. Ah, a little bit a too lot. much. Oh boy. Let's go a little. <laughs> oh boy. That's okay. Hey, look what I've How got here. How about this? How about that? Perfect. Well, maybe somewhere in between those two. <laughs> we'll get there. How about this one, chef? <laughs> That one's just right. Is that just right? <laughs> yes. Okay. We're going to stick with about that much. Exactly. You, and some of it will stay in the shell. So yeah. you just want there to be enough on it to add that flavor. And I love that you've done this, though, for the presentation. Because, yeah. like, to clean up the shell, you do want it to still look like it's the oyster in the shell. So you do this with presentation. Exactly. Everyone's going to be very impressed. Yeah, and here's another tip. I used a little bit of wet paper towel just to keep them from rolling around too much. So if oh, you're making these for a party or yeah. if you're serving them to a crowd, it's a great way to keep them from moving too much. Absolutely. So these are getting there. Just, like I said, a nice light brown. Yeah. And then we're going to take them out and onto some... Paper towel, just to drain. Yeah, why not? Just like we do with the bacon. Yeah, and are you willing to try one? Of course I am. Yeah, that's what so I like to hear. So oysters, like, I'm not over the top for oysters. Uh, that's really my daughter and my husband. They're like, any seafood, they're into it. Um, and shellfish, they're loving. But me, I still like it. I still love it. Raw versus fried. As you said, fried might be an easier way of stepping into it. Yeah, it's more approachable at yeah. the beginning. But, of course, nothing beats, in my opinion, a real fresh oyster, yeah. a little squeeze of lemon, or a little bit of horseradish. So, Which one know. should I eat? Well, I don't know. Let's Like, I don't see. know if I want to take one of your pretty ones, or do I take one that just freshly came out of the fryer? I mean, these will be warmer and fresher, but, uh, you know... Mine have the perfect ratio of sauce to I'll eat these. Oyster. That's what he's trying to say. Okay, so just take a look at how pretty that is because they really are quite gorgeous if you are planning on entertaining. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful. A little I know, bit I'm going to eat it. Okay. Go for it. I'm going to try and do it like a lady. Mm. Oh, that's great. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and what do you think of the sauce and the complimenting? I think it's phenomenal, all of it.